this would be applicable if you are able to write equation 1 as dy by dx plus py is equal to q. Hello everyone, Priyanka Godara this side. Welcome to you all Plutus IS and today I am here with the discussion of some summaries, some of the results. I usually do have these questions with from the students community that ma'am whenever we do have these formulas then we cannot recall them properly and for that you require the summary. So today we would be discussing the sum of the summary of results and this specifically this series is for first order ordinary differential equation and its methods you can say summary of the methods. So first order ordinary differential equation it may be having first order as well and first degree and it may be that first order differential equation it is but it would be having higher degrees okay. So first we would be discussing first order first degree. And if you have to recall the results that which all methods you do have, first of all, you need to recognize that how this equation look like. So any equation which is of the format mdx plus ndy is equal to 0 where m is some function of x and y. Similarly, n is also a function of function of so I can write this one is separate function so we would be considering that this is a function of x comma y so m and n both are the function of x and y and we need to solve this differential equation so particularly with respect to this differential equation we do have four type of results and how you can solve them let me write all of them one by one first one that you have is variable separable variable separable method second one and under variable separable method what happens that you can segregate the terms of x another side uh, towards the dx and terms of y towards dy if it is possible to write equation one after rewrite rewrite one as I would be saying that is f1x dx and g1y dy. If you are able to write the equation 1 into this format, then this would be solved by your variable separable method. And what you need to do? You just need to integrate this one and add a constant that is c. So that is how you would be solving the first order differential equation with variable separable method. Okay. Then we would be writing the second one. Let's have some space and second. <coughs> second method is for homogeneous equation. Homogeneous equation. What does that mean? Here whatever fxy and gxy are, if they do have combined degree equal, of all the terms then we will say that this is a homogeneous equation and how you would be solving this one for this you have to replace substitute or put y is equal to vx if the equation contains dy by dx or sometimes equation may be favorable if you do have dv, dx by dy then you can replace x by uy in both the methods you would be putting these values and ultimately the given equation would convert back into variable separable that we have already solved variable separable okay so that is how you would be solving the homogeneous equation then what is the third method if you do have any idea third method to solve any of the equation is your exact formulation and how you would be solving that by exact so exact
and before exact exact would require load space so we would be discussing first linear equation as well linear equation this is also one of the method to solve first order first degree equation and in this case why when, when this would be applicable if you are able to write equation 1 as dy by dx plus py is equal to q if you can convert your equation into this format then where you can solve the linear equation and here what you how you would be solving this one first you require <coughs> integrating factor and what is the formula for that e raised to power integral p dx and whatever this value would be that would be your integrating factor and after that what you need to do you need to write the solution after finding out eif you need to write solution and sol solution would be y into integrating factor is equal to integral q into integrating factor dx plus c so that is the final solution that you would be going to write and then last way we do have exact okay guys what is exact differential equation if you do have any idea when we will say that a given equation is exact see <coughs> you do have m dx plus n dy and into this equation if curl m y curl y is equal to curl n by curl x then equation is exact if it is satisfied it implies one is exact and then what would be the solution then solution is y integral m that m with respect to dx m dx keeping y constant plus integral n minus x what is the meaning of this minus x it means terms of n which doesn't contain x although term, those terms of n which do not include x in itself then we will be considering only these terms then do differentiate it with respect to y and equal to c it is your final solution of any of the exact equation is it necessary that always you would be having any of the exact sorry I have to select it again any of the exact solution or it would be exact no sometime you may find out that it is exact sometime you may find out then it is not exact but in that case you can reduce this one I am writing this one okay so if the given equation is not exact then how you would be making this one exact that is another question that you must be thinking now ma'am whether we can convert an equation into exact or not yes you can convert and for that what you have you have five methods and I would be writing them as rule say here rules to find integrating factor to make and ODE exact so here we would be writing rule 1 rule 1 says there would be condition and then there would be that if this condition is satisfied then what would be integrating factor I would be writing here so condition is that if your mx plus ny that is not equal to 0 and equation m dx plus n dy if equation 1 is homogeneous if it is homogeneous then integrating factor would be what then integrating factor would be 1 by mx plus ny mx plus ny this would be our integrating factor and after finding out this integrating factor what you need to do multiply given equation 1 by this integrating factor and then this would be exact and use this solution that would be our solution then second rule rule 2 what is that it says if equation 1 is of the format f1 
is a function of x into y. Never ever do the mistake that it is a function of x comma y. No, it is a function of product x and y into y dx plus f2 again a function of x into y and x dx is equal to 0. If you are given equation 1 this is of this format then what would be the integrating factor? Then integrating factor turns out to be 1 by mx minus ny right and then okay you would be solving this one and if you do have these two things what if you don't have these two things into your given equation then how you would be solving this one we do have another rules as well for that so I would be writing let's make me some of the space first and yes I'll select this one rule 3 what is rule 3? Rule 3 says that if your equation in your equation you would be finding out curl m by curl y minus curl n by curl x. What are these values? These values are the condition to check the exact and if they are not say, same then they would be having some value and you are dividing this by n. If after finding out this one you get this is a function of only x that is function of only x then what would be integrating factor i f integrating factor would be e raised to power integral this function g x dx that would be our integrating factor multiply the given equation by this one and then solve the given equation okay and then what is the rule for rule 4 is on the similar line of this one i would be writing it here and what it is convert this one here you would be checking curl n by curl x minus curl m by curl y and see here we had in division n that is the last term here we would be having the last term in division m and here the function turns out to be the independent variable with respect to the last term that is gx here the function should be the independent variable that is y fy if it turns out to be this one then integrating factor would be what integrating factor would be e raised to power integral this function f of y dy so you are sorted with four rules and if none of these four rule works then you do have one of the last weapon and that is said as Ramban of the algebraic equation what is that kuch nahi karna ye to sabse aasan hai rule 5 if it is not this one then we will be using the typical mathematician trick what is that we will be assuming that let's assume integrating factor is x raised to power h y raised to power k we will be assuming this one and after that what we would be doing do multiply this one to the equation 1 and then check the condition curl m by curl x equal to curl n by curl x and by equating them do find out h and k then from curl m by curl y is equal to curl n by curl x find h and k if you would be able to find out h and k then that would be your integrating factor and ultimately you can solve all type of your ordinary differential equation of first degree so this is all about first degree and next we will be seeing that how to solve the ordinary differential equation of first order but higher degree. If the equation is of first order then and it is of higher degree so it may be of the degree n we will assume that let's have let ordinary differential equation of first ordinary differential equation of first order has degree n then in general how you would be writing this one as a naught p raised to power n plus a1 p raised to power n minus 1 plus a2 p raised to power n minus 2 up to a n okay 
that is equal to 0 and where what is p? p is dy by dx that is first order of y with respect to x then how you can solve this one to solve this one we do have four methods again and what all these four methods are so let's write them one by one pardon me my for my straight lines first one is method one what is this it is known as solvable for p that is let me write then we would be explaining that what is this solvable for p in this what you have to do in this method it seems that you can solve here for value of p so you have to linearly factorize the given equation linearly or oh, factorize means linearly only linearly factorize can I say this one as one yes factorize one in the form see it is n degree equation then there would be how many linear factors obviously equal to the degree and that is n factor so we can write the given equation one in the form p into f1 p in minus f2 and so on p minus fn is equal to 0 then solve individually individually to all factors and how you would be solving these factors individually by following the methods on the last slide because this is now we have converted this equation into n linear differential equation so first order first degree so apply any of the five equation five or four rules that we have discussed on the last slide and then you can solve this one easily okay after this i have told you that there are four methods oh sorry so what is the second method any idea let me write like we have solvable for p then similarly we do have a method m2 that is solvable for y and when it is applicable if you are able to write your given equation into the format y is equal to f of x comma p that means there should be only one term of y and remaining all the terms should be either into x or they should in include y p then if it is possible then you would be applying this method and what is this method say this one is 2 because 1 we have demarked already here differentiate 1 with respect to x if you would would be differentiating 2 then what would happen dy by dx is equal to f dash x comma p once it is differentiated with respect to x and another time it would be differentiated with respect to p and if you would be dis differentiating this one then this would be some other function which contains x and dp by dx along with there may be p as well so you would be having this function and ultimately what you need to do put your dy by dx is equal to p and then this is f of x comma p comma dp by dx and now solve this one this would be solvable so this is the procedure that you would be doing okay then what is the third method likewise we have solvable for p solvable for y there is another method that is solvable for x m3 is solvable for x and what is the classification of the equation which can be solved by this method so like here we are able to apply solvable for y only if you do have y is equal to some function of other variables and this solvable for x is applicable if you are able to write given equation 1 as g f x is equal to g of y comma p that you can separate x into other terms then this method is applicable and then what you need to do 
differentiate say this is third equation differentiate equation 3 with respect to y now because x is already there so you have to differentiate this by y and it would be dx by dy that is equal to some function that includes y p as well as dp by dy and then replace this dx by dy by 1 by p so this is 1 by p f y p dp by dy and after this one solve it so by direct integration you would be able to do this one either by variable separable or it may be some of the diff exact differential equation so you can solve that easily then last one is we have told you now so last one is method 4 and what is that this is specific type and it is named by after some of the scientists that has discovered this one that is Claret's equation Claret's equation so if it is specific that means it is applicable for only specific type of function and what is that type so it is applicable if your equation 1 can be written as I think this would be visible 1 this one it can be written as y is equal to p x plus f of p if you are able to write your equation into this format only then Claret's equation work and what it says it says the solution is very simple here solution is y is equal to c x plus f of c and where what you need to do kuch nahi jahan jahan p dikh raha hai wahan pe utha ke c likh dijiye aur last mein say that that c is constant of integration so that's it with the summaries and we have discussed here first order differential equation with respect to first degree and higher degrees in the upcoming videos we would be coming up with these more summaries that higher order differential equation then second order differential equation and so on so stay tuned keep watching all the best thank you